Okay, now what I have shown you with my putter is this yellow putter, yellow uh, grip putter, is that when I get set and I grip this club properly, I get my hands on the club properly, and once again, you practice this, you won't have to go up, face up, face down. You'll just put your hands on it, you'll know what the center of your palms are, you'll know where to put the uh, where to put your index fingers. By the way, you don't have to have them down the shaft, you can close them up. And you'll notice that when I close them up, I still have a good path I can create. If you look at the center of force on both sides, you'll see it's absolutely dead center. And my path will be fine. That is with a good grip, closing my eyes, look at the card. I'm absolutely perfect when I look at the screen too. So all everything is good with regard to grip. Let's take a look at what, what is so significant about that grip versus this grip. You got your grip size numbers. Let's assume for a moment you don't change your putter grip for whatever reason. You haven't had time or for whatever reason, but you do everything else you're seeing here. You've got your card on your putter. You put it through the center of the palm. You grip it the way you know you should grip it. You hold it up in front. The card looks great. The card looks perfect and you can see from the screen my center is good. But you'll notice that when I go into my setup with this putter, this club face immediately goes left and I have, uh, I see the club face closed so I might even tweak it to make it look square but when you look at the screen or where my center of force is well above the line on the right side, well below the line on the left you'll see that my weight distribution is pretty even left to right but my path is definitely going to go outside in. That is grip size. If your numbers and your recordings are accurate when you do your own measurements we can put you in a putter where your grip size is going to create balance in your setup. Anything you place in your hands, will uh, your body is going to respond to. And your body is going to respond, if it doesn't fit, your body is going to make some adjustment. So when I get this club up, good grip in the right side, add my knee flex. If you look at the center of force on both sides, this one's actually must have a bad grip here. I did. So I was seeing I was off, okay. Center of the palm, and there I, um, there I am, I'm centered. As soon as I go to the ground, with this grip size, right hand or left hand, I'm out of balance. Now, I've talked with you about a number of things, being in balance, having the proper grip size, make sure you are in balance when you place your hands on the club. Sounds like a lot of information, but all you have to do is build it into your routine. I want to show you both what to do and what not to do. I want you to understand why. Uh, and then you'll understand why you should place your hands on the club a certain way or why you should have a particular grip size. Okay, I'm just going to demonstrate now what happens with the subtle changes or major changes in grip size. This grip fits me. I go into my balance setup, good grip, if you look on the screen, you'll see my center of force is absolutely perfect. My hips are square. My path will be true. If I simply reach over, don't move my feet, change my grip size, get a good grip on the putter, and I immediately feel my hips open. I see my club face closed. I see the right side of the card. I can tweak it so I see just the center of the card. But when you look at my center of force, uh, I'm above the line on the right side and on the line on the left and below. So my path is going definitely going to go outside in. Let's go back to this one again. This again fits my hands, get my good grip on the putter, get set, and that, that just feels so solid over the ball. And I look at the screen, you can see how dead center, that center of force is, make my stroke, stroke is down the line. Your path is coming out of balance. Balance is created by stance width, by alignment, by ball position, by posture, uh, and by grip size.